Making Hypotheses Transparent with Gina Coe and Sandra Collins. So Sandra, as I'm, I'm hearing your story uh, here, um, I'm formulating some understanding and in, in, in sometimes the word is like a hypothesis about what's going on. Providing transparency. So what I'm hearing is that you are ready for this, this bigger life transition right now. Summarizing. Mm -hmm. I think that's pretty accurate because I like the, I like the addition of ready for it. Um, because I, I mean, if people watch videos from the past, you'll see this tension has been here between health and work and family and work and um, art and work and other videos. Um, but I wasn't ready. So I think ready is the piece that you add there. I feel like now I'm ready. I'm ready to say I can, because there's loss in retiring and walking away from the things that are valuable to me on one hand. Um, and yet, yeah, I do feel like I'm ready. Mm -hmm. And to, in the service of speaking out loud, what tells you that you are ready right now? Probing. Hmm. Well, I think it's that um, I have totally let go of feeling obliged. You know, I think I've, I've been pulled in because I tend to be an over-responsible person. So one thing I have noticed is that um, I'm just saying, uh, yeah, there's lots of things that I could have still finished off or could still do or could still contribute. But somebody else can do those. Um, and so part of it is recognizing that um, I've come to the place of just letting go of that sense of over responsibility. Um, and that's allowed me to be more ready, I think. Mm -hmm. I can let it go mm -hmm. without feeling like, oh, I actually still want to do this and that and this and that. So it's almost like, oh, I'm okay now to let that go reflecting meaning yeah and it's and it's connected also to responsibility to other people you know like yeah it may be inconvenient for people that um i don't do whatever you know write some course that i was going to write next year um and that may cause some inconvenience but um i'm putting myself forward um so it's it's that that letting go of that sense of responsibility to other people and um, focusing the energy on responsibility to myself and saying, no, this is actually about me and other people will figure it out and I'm not indispensable. And um, it's okay to just say, you know, it's time. It's time for me to move on to other things. Mm -hmm. And I'm hearing trusting the process. Mm -hmm. As you said, I'm. I'm, I'm not indispensable, right? Other people will come in and, 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 and do the work. Reflecting meaning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's, yeah, trusting the process is good because it's, um, I think it's one thing for me to be ready and it's another thing for me to let go of worry about what, what the consequences will be for other people. So the readiness is about myself. I'm like, here I am, I'm, I'm resolved that this would be a good thing for me and a good thing for my people that are significant to me. Um, and yet on the other hand, I hold this other bucket of responsibility. And so um, it's both of those things, um, being able to let go of that responsibility is part of, um, part of what has to happen for me to move from ready to actually doing something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And they actually, doing something is even more telling that you are ready for this life transition. Reflecting meaning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's like, it's like, yes, I'm ready and I'm making some active decisions to put that in place. And I feel like that's really moving me in a direction now. Um, instead of just thinking about it and feeling ready and feeling, I mean, we all do that, right? Like, oh my, I wish I could, didn't have to do this or I, you know, I'm tired of this or I'm ready to move on to something else, but it's different to actually start to be ready and do something. Mm -hmm. 
So Sandra, going back to the beginning when I, uh, I, I shared my hypothesis, the readiness for life transition, now I'm hearing readiness and doing and putting that into action. Mm -hmm. And a part of that, when we do and we and execute what we are ready for, that gives us hope, mm -hmm. right? So there's hopefulness in that. Mm -hmm. Summarizing. Yeah, I think that's where the that's where the energy comes from. Um, is the yeah the hope that comes out of okay, I'm I'm moving. I'm actually moving in a direction, not just thinking about it. Mm 